Whether you like it or not, upscaling is here to stay in games. However, everyone can enjoy it though, thanks to AMD's FSR, which is basically available on every single modern graphics card. However, Intel has a very little known upscaler called XESS, but how well does it get on? Well, it's time to find out how well this AI accelerated upscaler gets on against AMD's FSR, because I've done some image quality comparisons. When Intel dropped their art cards in 2022, they also released their XE Super Sampling Upscaler, which actually utilizes the AI processors in Intel Arc GPUs. This is very similar to Nvidia's DLSS, and this is something that FSR is also lacking, as it has no AI acceleration. To get the most out of XESS, you need an Intel Arc graphics card. You can use it on Nvidia or AMD GPUs, but you won't get the AI upscaling, which you can only get on Intel Arc GPU. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get the compatibility of FSR, but you can also have the potential quality of DLSS, which means XESS is kind of cool. Because of this, if you have an Intel Arc graphics card, XESS will look better than FSR, particularly at lower resolutions and performance mode as well. To find out the differences in image quality between both of these upscalers, I've done some image quality comparisons. All gameplay was captured on my Intel Arc A750's hardware encoder using the AVC mode, capturing 1440p gameplay at 30 megabits per second. As I would have tested AV1, but it doesn't play well with Adobe Premiere Pro, so yeah, I couldn't have used AV1 today. I've done image quality comparisons for both performance and quality for both upscalers, and I've also compared them to native rendering as well. So let's see which one of these upscaling methods has the better image quality. Cyberpunk is up first, and on quality, both of the upscaling methods look absolutely great. Although XESS does pull slightly ahead though, because it is less prone to artifacting. If we look at FSR, it does start to show a few issues, particularly with shimmering with the railings in the background. And this is the biggest weakness of AMD's upscaler. Objects with intricate details or railings or telephone lines in the background do start to, well, fall apart a bit, even at 1440p performance. But to be fair, this is when you're pixel peeping in gameplay and in motion, you're not really going to notice this. Switching up to performance, and this is where XESS pulls far ahead of AMD's FSR, in my opinion. The AI-based upscaler holds up surprisingly well, even on performance at 1440p. It doesn't look as sharp as native, but to be fair, it's not that far off. Looking at the negatives and FSR does start to fall apart with significant shimmering, particularly on cars going by. And if you look at the railings in the background, FSR just kind of falls apart where XESS does hold up surprisingly well. AMD's upscaling kind of reminds me of bad video compression as the clarity just simply isn't there. Looking at both these upscalers in motion at the quality preset and they both look absolutely great, I'm not going to lie. XESS does look slightly better, particularly with shimmering, just like the static scene. But then again, it's going to be in motion, and unless if you're pixel peeping, you're not really going to notice. When you will notice the quality loss is when you drop down to performance, especially with FSR, it doesn't look particularly great, just like the static view. So I'd avoid performance FSR altogether if you can. Performance XESS doesn't look too bad, but then again, XESS does hold up better thanks to its AI implementation. At quality, both upscalers look great in Forza Horizon 5, freezing the frame under the neon sign, and XESS does look a bit weird for some reason. I'm not sure if this is the frame it was paused on because I did try and skip it through a few frames, but it didn't seem to really make that much of a difference. But FSR does look quite noisy here with the reflections as well, and native does look the best, which is no surprise. But in motion, both upscaling methods look absolutely great. The only issue I have with FSR quality is the tail lights on cars. They look a bit noisy, but other than that, both the upscaling methods look brilliant. So I would like to say, for most people, as Forza Horizon 5 is a fast-paced game, you won't notice any difference at quality for the most part. 
turning them down to performance though, and this is like Cyberpunk 2077, where FSR kind of falls apart. XESS has the major upper hand over AMD's upscaler when set to performance, which is no surprise thanks to its AI acceleration. FSR simply just lacks clarity and suffers from artifacts more so than XESS. Under the neon sign, FSR looks way worse now and the reflection is just an absolute noisy mess. Admittedly, XESS doesn't look that great, but it is a whole lot better than AMD's FSR. In motion, FSR lacks substantial detail in a lot of the cars, whereas XESS does retain a lot of these details, but both aren't great on performance, admittedly, but then again, XESS does a much better job. Both XESS and FSR look great in Hogwarts Legacy when they're both set to quality. Even looking at the details in the leaves, they look great across both upscaling methods as artifacting was pretty minimal across both of them, which is a surprise to me as I was expecting FSR to start shimmering quite a lot. It's becoming quite a trend in today's video and that is FSR falls quite far behind at performance with a lot of shimmering and ghosting, particularly around the character's legs when he's running along and there's just a lack of clarity in general. Don't get me wrong, XESS doesn't look perfect but as expected, it does hold up better than AMD's upscaler. I would say XESS at performance is passable but I can't really say the same for FSR at performance. Yet again, XESS looks better in Hogwarts Legacy. Spider-Man was a bit of a weird one. That is because at quality XESS, I thought it looked better than native. Well, at least sharper. FSR at quality also looks brilliant as well. And in gameplay, I don't think most people would be able to tell the difference between the three. Maybe quite a few people might say XESS at quality looks better, but even then you're splitting hairs even if you're pixel peeping. So at quality, both these upscaling methods are totally fine. Dropping down to performance and XESS still looks pretty decent as long as you don't pixel peep, particularly on the grills of cars and stuff like that. That's where the image quality does start to fall apart a bit. And as per, FSR looks a bit mushy with a lot of shimmering and a massive lack of clarity as well. So I feel like a bit of a broken record in this video, but FSR at performance doesn't really give that great of a gaming experience. Looking at a different scene in Spider-Man and it's pretty much the same as the last. Both XESS and FSR look great and most gamers wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between both of these and native in my opinion. Performance follows the same trend set by the other games. XESS renders much more detail than FSR, particularly in the buildings in the background. They look way sharper with XESS compared to performance FSR. So I would say avoid performance FSR in Spider-Man Remastered. But XESS performance, you might just be able to get away with. And if you just needed a slight performance boost, both of these upscalers on quality look totally fine. So no surprise there then, the AI improved XESS single-handedly defeats FSR at basically every single scenario today. Particularly at performance, XESS looks a lot better than FSR, even though it doesn't look quite as good as native, but if I had to choose between XESS at performance or FSR at performance, I'm choosing XESS every single day of the week. And because of this, if you have an Intel Arc GPU, just like me, and XESS is available, I would use that 100% of the time over AMD's FSR. Like, why would you not? It's like using DLSS over AMD's FSR if that's an option. I don't know why you would because there isn't going to be a performance advantage with going with FSR. You're just going to be losing image clarity for the sake of losing image clarity. And who wants to do that? But this isn't a video to try and hate on AMD's FSR. It's far from it because I think AMD's FSR is a brilliant technology. I use it quite a lot of the time in games like Jedi Survivor as that doesn't have XESS or DLSS. So we'll just put it onto FSR quality and the game looks great still and I'm enjoying higher frame rates. The only real problems I can find with XESS is you need an Intel Arc card to get the most out of it as you can actually run it on Nvidia or AMD GPUs but you won't get the AI portion of it which is what makes XESS very good in terms of image quality. Also, game support isn't quite there yet with XESS, with a lot of games not supporting it still, compared to the vast library of games which are supporting FSR. 
However, that list is growing with Intel's XESS, so I believe in a year or two, this wouldn't really be that much of a problem. Despite its inferior quality, AMD's FSR is still a brilliant technology. It's widely compatible, running on GPUs as old as like the R9 290, which is very old, it's 11 years old almost now. And it's also basically in every single new release, apart from Battlefield 2042 for some reason, I'm not sure what was going on there. So for what you lose in quality, you gain in compatibility and availability as FSR will basically run on any modern GPU and it's included in pretty much every single modern game. So then, if you need more performance in a pinch and you've got an Intel Arc graphics card and XESS is available, I would 100% use that all of the time. You may as well, it looks better than AMD's FSR and yeah, it's built for your graphics card so you may as well use it. So long story short, if you have an Intel Arc graphics card and XESS is available in the game that you're playing, enable that over FSR, but don't fear if FSR is the only option, keep that to quality and you should be good to go. With that being said, there is more Intel Arc content right up here, which might be right up your alley. And if you got this far into the video, I'd like to say thank you for sticking around this long. It does really help out the channel.